In our last video, we looked at how we could remove the hard line returns that occurred up here in this paragraph. We did it so that we could simply double click on the paragraph, double click in the margin to select the paragraph. But what we have here is, if you notice down in the lower left corner, the taskbar for this page, for this document, this is 72 pages long and 28,000 words long. So it would be very difficult for us to work our way through here doing just one paragraph at a time. So using the same technique of find and replace, what we want to do now is to use a method which will allow us to get rid of all of these end of line returns that we see at all of these paragraphs. But here's the situation. We have to be able to find a way to do it where that we maintain the space that exists between these paragraphs. So right here you can see that the person who edited this document and put it up on Gutenberg, what they did at the end of a paragraph is they hit a hardline return, followed it by another hardline return, and then they started the next paragraph on that following line. We have to maintain that kind of spacing. But at the same time, we have to get rid of these unnecessary paragraph marks that we see at the ends of these lines. So one of the things that you can do as you begin working on editing a document, getting it ready for publishing, however it is that you want it to be published, is one of the things you can do is just sort of scroll through the document. I'm going to use the page down button and just jump down through some of these pages. And what I'm looking for, I'm looking to see, do I have many instances where that I have more than two paragraph symbols in a row? So in this case here, there's a paragraph symbol or a hard line return at the end of this line that says, said the nephew. And then there's another one right here to give a space really sort of artificial space between these two paragraphs. I'm looking to see, are there any places in the document where there are more than two of those in a row? And when you see them, they'll jump out at you uh, pretty well. I see places like this where the person who edited this document wanted to have these two lines of text lined up, and so they just stuck in a bunch of spaces, and we'll deal with that later. But right now, just scrolling through here, I don't see any other places where we would find more than two paragraph symbols in a row. So I'm going to jump back to the top of the document. And here I do see that. I see where that there are here, in this case, there are four. Four paragraph marks in a row. And then the next line has ends with a hard line return and is followed by that characteristic paragraph symbol between the two par between these two lines. We want to get rid of those. And so looking down through here, I see some places where maybe there are three paragraph symbols in a row. If I were to get rid of these three right here between stave five and stave one, if I could somehow just delete these three right in here, then that would give me one paragraph mark here, and then the, the word stave would start on the next line. So let's see what that does to us. And I'm going to tell you right from the beginning that sometimes you have to do trial and error as you work through your document like this. I've done this dozens and dozens of times, and I always find myself using Control-Z to undo an action that I took so that I can try a different method. But in this case, I'm just going to try to start with three paragraph symbols like this because I don't see any place in the document where that there are more than three in a row. So let's see what happens with this. So I'm going to start with the Control H to pull up the Find and Replace dialog box. I'm going to select More and then down under Special you can see the paragraph mark. You can click that. It, remember, it's the caret symbol. The caret is found over the six key on the top row of your keyboard. And I want to find three of those. Well, this time, rather than going down to special and clicking that every time, I'm just going to type it three times. You can do the same thing. You don't have to click it down here at all. If you know the 
the code, then you can just type it in. Now, as I type in these three paragraph symbols, the question again is, what would I like to replace that with? Well, in this case, I'm going to start with just nothing and see what it does uh, to my document. Now, I'm going to replace everything in the entire document. Nothing is selected in the document. So, so far, this procedure to find three paragraph symbols in a row and replace it with nothing should get applied to the entire document. So I'll click Replace All. It tells me that it found eight places where that occurred and that it replaced all three. So I'll click OK. And so I'm going to close this dialog box, come back up to the top. And this is where I pointed out a moment ago that we had three between these two lines and that if I took out those three, then it would place these two lines right next to each other. And that's not a problem. This is stave one it begins right here. And that's where we're going to have chapter one. So that's not a problem. I'm going to insert a bookmark in that later and that won't create a problem for me at all. It doesn't look like I've messed up anything on these other lines either. They're all still pretty much the way that they were. And so I'm thinking now that I'm ready to try to replace every instance where I have two paragraph symbols in a row, replace them document wide. But now here's the problem. If I replace all of these, number one, do I need to replace them with anything like a space? Well, that's a good idea because remember when we did the paragraph up here, then we wound up with words, for instance, like here between book, comma, and the word two, there was no space. And between the words my readers, there was no space and those words were just stuck together. So it's a good idea to replace these paragraph marks when we replace them with a space. But in this case, as we go down through here, I want to replace them with something that's going to leave me a bit of this same kind of structure so that I don't wind up with, well, let me just show you. I could just do control H and I could tell it everywhere that it finds, and I'll take out one of those. So everywhere that it finds caret P, caret P, or two paragraph symbols in a row, let's just replace it with a blank space. So I've hit the blank space once and you can see the space in up here in the replace with field. I'm going to replace all. So it found it 714 times. So I'm going to click OK, close my dialog box. And now the problem is up here that the first paragraph, where after where it said stave one, Marley's ghost, the first words in that first paragraph begin right here. Marley was dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatever about that, he says. But I still have the paragraph symbol at the end of each line. And so that really didn't work for me. So I'm going to control Z to undo that. And it'll take me right back to where I was before I ran that. You're going to come to love that control Z undo feature in Word as you begin editing these log documents. By the way, I'm going to go ahead and save my document so I don't have to go back too far to get back to this point. Remember that control Z is undo. You can also come up to the quick access toolbar and you'll find the undo replace all right here with control Z. There's also a redo button. So if you take out a step that you want to put back, then you can just click on the redo button. Now, what I did is I took out every instance where I found two paragraph marks in a row. And the reason I still had the paragraph marks at the end of each of these lines was because I was taking out every time it found two in a row, but not every time it found one in a row. What I want to do is I want to take out every one of these, but I want to wind up with blank space between these paragraphs. If I don't, I'm not going to be able to tell where one paragraph begins or the next paragraph begins. All of the text is just going to be jumbled together. So what I want to do is to replace these hard line returns with soft line returns. Now, let me show you what that means. Again, I'm going to click Control N to open a new document. And here I'm just going to type, this is a sentence. 
Notice that whenever I start typing, Microsoft Word automatically puts the hardline return at the end of that line. I did not hit the enter key yet, did I? No, it's just that it's automatically there. I'll turn off the show hide button and let's just get rid of this new document and create another new one. So here's a new document. The show hide button is off and I'm going to type this is a sentence period. I haven't hit the enter key yet. So if I click on the paragraph symbol or show hide symbol, it's going to show me that there is a paragraph mark there, even though I have not hit one. If I hit enter and paste that sentence in again, then you see that it places one at the end of the line. And then it also carries the one that was already at the end of that line down to this next line. So let's do this. I'm going to come down here and turn the show hide off. This time I'm going to type, this is a sentence. And rather than using the hard line return, which is the enter key, I'm going to hold down shift and press enter. And notice that the next line, the next line begins on a new line, but notice the difference in the amount of space between them. The hard line return automatically creates enough space between two lines for that to become a paragraph. The computer automatically decides how much space is needed, and, and we can adjust that space, by the way. But whenever you use the soft line return and put that at the end of the sentence, so shift enter, then we see that the lines are closer together. And when I click on show hide, Whereas up here, we see the hard line returns at the end of each of those lines. Here we see a little crooked arrow or a crooked arrow that points back to the left. And what it's doing is just showing us that this is the symbol for a soft line return. Some people call it a manual line return because I manually entered that, that line, but I did not enter a paragraph. I manually entered a end of line command, but I did not enter a hard end of line return. So I'll get rid of this document, go back. So what I want to do is I'm going to replace every paragraph symbol in this document with a soft line return, or as Microsoft Word calls it, a manual end of line return. To do that, I'll just open up the find and replace dialog box with control H. And here I'm going to replace every instance of the paragraph symbol with a soft line return. And if you want to find that down here, you would find it under manual line break, manual line break. And you'll see here that it's the caret L. So if you can remember that, then up here, you could just type caret P and then down here, caret lowercase L. Now let's just do a find and replace on all of those and see what we come up with. So replace all. It made one replacement. Let's see, did I have something selected? I did. So close that, control Z to undo that. Make sure that nothing is selected or if you'd like, we'll just select everything in the entire document by triple clicking in the margin, control H have one paragraph symbol that I want to be replaced with one manual line break. And I'm going to replace all. And it found 3,815 instances of hard line returns or that were places where the enter key was, was pressed. Do we want to select from the rest of the document? There's no need to because I've already done the entire document. Now, when I close the dialog box, let's take a look at what I have. I still see basically the same structure of the page that I had before. Everything seems to be on the same lines, spaced out like they were before. And now at the end of every line, I have a soft line return, or as Word calls it, a manual line break. Then what I can do to get rid of this, these instances, 
so that I can still have space between these paragraphs is I can replace every time there are two of these in a row and replace those with one paragraph symbol. So let's see what happens with that. Control A to select the entire document or triple click in the margin. Control H to open the find and replace. Up here, I want it to be caret L, caret L. And down here, I want it to be caret P. So I'm going to replace every instance of a soft line return with a hard line return. I'm going to replace all. And it didn't find any instances. And the reason for that, if you can look right here real closely for a second, you can see that there's a space before that soft line return, and then there's a space before that one. Let's try this again. This is where trial and error makes a lot of difference in reading. These, these symbols, by the way, are called non-printing symbols. Whenever you press the show hide, it shows me not only the, the soft line returns, and it shows me those hard line returns, those backwards looking P's. It also shows me a a dot between every word and that's a space and so we see that there's a space here let's try this again I'm going to try control H and this time in front of where I have the caret L I'm going to hit space and then after the L I'm gonna hit space so I've got caret I have space caret L space caret L and I want to replace that with just a plain old Hardline return, caret P. Now let's replace all. And it says that it found 714 instances of that. So I'll click OK. Click Close. And now at the end of every line, I can see here that I have a soft line return, soft line return. And then down at the end of the paragraph, I have a Hardline return, which gives us the space that we need between two paragraphs, just like we showed a moment ago in the sample document that I opened up. Now what we need to do is we need to get rid of these soft line returns that we're not going to need in the document later on. So what I'm wanting to find here is every instance of a soft line return and to replace it with nothing. And it found 2,387 instances of that. I'm not going to search the rest of the document. Close. And so come back up to the very top of the document with Control Home. And we find here some things that we're going to have to straighten out. It begins with the title. And, and there was a line here that said, In prose being. And then there was a space after that, I'm just going to put this on a new line by pressing the Enter key. And then it says, by Charles Dickens. And then right here, at after the word Dickens, I'm going to press Preface. And here's that original paragraph that we replaced in the previous video. Then here it says, their faithful friend and servant. And then it has uh, Charles Dickens down after that, or CD. December 1843, then after that is the word contents, and then the table of contents got all scrunched up together, so for now I'm just going to put manual line returns in here by finding the word stave and pressing the enter key. We're actually we're going to get rid of that table of contents later, but for now we've got it where we need it to be. That's all we had to do to correct that. And now at the end of every line in our document, there is just a space at the end of these paragraphs. So at this point, we have gotten all of the hardline returns replaced. We've replaced them with the ends of line so that now we can double click in the margin to select the entire paragraph, triple click to select the whole document. And we've got this document now where we need it to be for further editing.